Hello friends, today I am going to discuss uh, the importance of landed cost. In case of regular landed cost at the time of making purchase and uh, receiving the items. And second case which is mostly asked by every traders or every company. Like I have received my goods but receiving overhead cost will take some time like receiving freight charges, other uh, custom duty charges, it will take time. And by that time, I have to deliver my items. And then, if I don't have those items in stock, how Odoo will manage my landed cost after delivering the items? So let's start by making a purchase. So this is my trade product. I am buying five units. Okay. I confirm the order and I receive the items. So here in my trial balance, we can see stock interim has been credited, right? with 75 and my inventory valuation has also been debited by 75 okay because stock increased and this coming from interim as a part of our stock valuation account now in this case i am registering my landed cost over this item and selecting my transfer so this is my inwards and I am going to add freight charges okay with by quantity so I am writing like I have incurred 5 rupees of cost and when you press compute it will make an adjustment like 75 rupees was the original purchase value 5 rupees is the additional cost of this freight and now the new charges will become 80 rupees clear so if i want to show you my product master also before getting this done let us see very you know closely the current cost is 15 rupees per unit right and it's uh, uh, managing by uh, average costing now as soon as i validate this it will create a valuation entry for this trade product by five and here in my ledger you can see it become 80 rupees the 75 rupees of item will become 80 because of this landed cost freight charges clear and when I go to my product master, the new price will become 16 because it is uh, considering the average costing method. Okay. And now what I will do, I will sell this item to my customer. So let's say i have how many products on hand let me see over here okay it is replenishment on demand so nothing to worry it is going to create one more you know here let's say i am buying five units uh, sorry I am selling five units of this item okay and because five units are in my stock and here um, I set all my quantities validate the delivery going back to my sales order here is my ledger which will show 80 rupees item is gone okay to customer now stock valuation is zero 
and here stock delivered will hit okay by 80 debit still creditors and debtors are not there because i haven't created any vendor bill yet true so what i'm going to do is first let me create my you know vendor bill this is my po2 creating a bill okay giving a date to paste that confirm that's it it will create the stock interim debit and then creditors same way if i go to sales and then creating the invoice for my customer here are the general local sales by debtors okay and now here is my ledger so stock accounting zero okay and this stock received interim is 240 minus 5 over here and then this is already settling down by local sales increasing by 500 rupees and cost of goods sold by 80 right okay and then what i will do is i will create a vendor bill to pay that five rupees of freight charges right so i'm going into accounting directly in the vendor bill section and then creating a new bill where i will say freight charge and account will be this stock interim received okay so i'm into this okay so this stock received uh, freight charges will debit and creditors will five so here as in my trial balance you can see it has minus 5 right now it's in credit side as soon as i do this bill it will be debit 5 to settle down this entry so i confirm this giving the vendor bill okay and this bill i am going to associate with my landed cost so it will have a history okay so landed cost is already here associated and in my ledger you can see everything is settled down to zero in stock received interim account here also zero and then this is my pnl account you can see profitability by making these transactions okay now the question comes the second use case some charges which i don't know coming afterwards i have already delivered my goods and there are some custom duty see if i go to product and let's say create custom duty making it service type then defining its landed cost and accounting ok 
Okay. So <coughs> custom duty and then I will define one vendor also. And now I will register additional cost. So how would we will manage this? So let's see that. Transfer will become same. That is number two. Let us verify again. Purchase order number two and the receipt number two. Okay. So here I will say I am adding my custom duty. by quantity and I am adding 10 rupees of custom duty on this now see I have my goods are already out from my account okay if you want to see trial balance goods is already out there is no stock and still I am registering additional custom duty on the same transfer here if I compute from old 80 rupees like 75 was the original value 5 rupees was the freight charges and then 10 rupees right now i am adding as a custom duty over my product and validate it so now what odoo will do let's see the trial balance so see it has added this value over here of 10 rupees okay and then this cost of good has already registered 10 rupees of debit as a counterpart because I don't have this stock stock is already delivered and here also you can see the 10 rupees of stock delivered journal entry created by Odoo itself so this two number of landed cost entry has created four entries in total one is increasing my stock value then hitting my you know stock delivered by 10 debit and then stock delivered because of this custom duty charges and then finally added into cost of goods sold also 10 so that is how your profitability will be accurate even after you have delivered this item and you are passing a landed cost where you don't have stock in hand but would you adjusted all this stock valuation automatically i hope this is clear and then as a last transaction part i will do a vendor build for my custom duty vendor I will select custom duty account stock received interim by 10 okay the build date okay and then associating this bill with my landed cost of two number that's it and now i am adding my journal entries you can see the custom duty vendor will be paid and debited by 10 and then everything is accurate now okay thank you very much